Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to look at something that is very basic for a lot of people but yet not really understood by a lot and I mean there's probably a majority of people that don't understand how it works and it's the structure of the files and folders in your PC so that you can find what you're looking for. The biggest problem that most people have in their knowledge of Windows is the fact that they just don't understand the structure of how to get to the hard drive, the different folders and um, you know something as simple as plugging in a USB drive. One of the common questions will be well if it doesn't pop up automatically where is it? How do I find it? And that is the biggest problem with um, the knowledge of most people. So a lot of the videos that I've put on, people say, well, you know, when I put my um, memory card in my computer, it doesn't pop anything. Okay, well, if it doesn't pop anything, there's a manual way of going to check for it. If uh, your USB drive or thumb drive, uh, your USB key doesn't show up, well, there's a manual way to go and check if it's there. And that is the basics of computers. You need to know how to find your way around the files and folders. So we'll look at uh, something in Windows 8 that is the File Explorer. Now you have the File Explorer available in your Start screen. If you don't see it on the start screen, you can actually go to the search on the upper right corner of your screen and type File Explorer and there you'll see it pop up. It's really a blue tile with a, with a like a folder um, on it. Uh, there's also the desktop where you should see one in the um, taskbar at the bottom. I have mine here at the bottom. So once you click your file explorer, what you have is a full view of the folders. Now there might be some things missing. Uh, for example here, I have my panel on the left side. I have lots of folders and stuff that show up here, uh, including devices and drives. Um, one of the things that you need to know is how to arrange your view so that everything is there. So in the view at the top you should have the uh, navigation pane. You should have uh, the maximum number of options available. So here if you don't have the navigation pane uh, available for example on the left side you just go into navigation pane and you click on it to make sure that there's a check mark and you'll see it show up on your left side of your screen. Another thing that is uh, often not available, um, sometimes you don't have the ribbon. Now maybe you're saying well I don't have the ribbon. You can go at the top, right click and click on show quick access toolbar below the ribbon. You can also click to make sure that you don't minimize the ribbon. These are all options that are available. Now the structure on the left gives you access to pretty much all of your computer. You just need to know how to go through it. For example, the entry to your computer is called this PC. If you click the little arrow on the left, that will give you desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, and video. You'll have the drives, C drive, uh, My here is my uh, Blu-ray drive, local disk. If you have a USB thumb drive, a USB drive, a memory card, it's going to show up in that list. This is where you find the stuff that you're looking for. It's very important. And on the left side, if you click on different options, you'll see that you'll have all the files and folders of that option show up. So you can click on your left side. You can also just click the little arrow and have the full drives showing up here. So these are all 
options that you need to check for. Most of or all of your computer actually is like um, it's possible to access through this. Another structure that people don't understand most of the time is the fact that um, to get to your different files and folders, what is the file access? And here I'll show you. If you press or click on your C drive, which is your main drive, you have something called um, users right here. And in users, you have something called your own user. So, if, for example, you named it after your name, it should be there. If you gave it another name, it should be there. If you have multiple accounts, you should see all of them. Here, my default account is Atelier. I click here, and then you have access to other folders, um, you know, contacts, desktop, documents, downloads, and so on. And so you can go through this option to pretty much go through all of your computer. Uh, it's important to know that it exists because a lot of people um, just don't have or lack that ability and they don't understand it and then they wonder why they just can't find anything. Another example for this is um, if you install programs, well programs install themselves in a folder on the computer that's called um, program files and there are two of them. There's program files and program files x86 depending on if your programs are 64 or 32 bits. x86 is for 32 bit programs. And sometimes you want to go and see that program file. Well, it's there. All you have to do is click this PC, go onto your C drive, and you'll see program files and program files x86. That's where you find a lot of the stuff you might want to uh, check for. So that's the way you will use the file explorer and go and find your options. Uh, the biggest problem is usually solved by knowing this just little known fact that you can go through the folders of your computer quite easily. You can also go through the folders of your OneDrive if you have a OneDrive account with Microsoft. So everything you plug in will pop up in here when you need them. Uh, in the event, because it can happen, there might be an event where you plug in your USB drive, for example, and you notice that it doesn't pop up. It doesn't pop up. It doesn't show anywhere here, and nothing seems to happen. Now, that could be a possibility, and that often means there's some kind of problem, either that your uh, Windows machine is not detecting correctly the hard drive or the external thumb drive or the memory card. Uh, it could be a driver problem. It could be that the memory card or the thumb drive is actually bad and doesn't work well. So these are all options that you need to check if it doesn't pop or do nothing. So in all of the videos that I have online, if you have to plug in a thumb drive, if you have to plug in a memory card and nothing pops up, remember that you'll have to go and check through the file explorer. It happens that in Windows, uh, quite often, the automatic process of popping up your drives is kind of broken and it just, just doesn't pop up. It could be because one of the uh, programs on your computer has changed the settings. It could be that you changed the settings in, uh, without you knowing it. But it does happen from time to time that the automated process of these drives popping up doesn't work. So remember that you can go and check it out through the File Explorer and understand that through the File Explorer you can go on and check for that thumb drive, USB drive or memory card or whatever you've plugged in. Uh, it's really going to pop up through this process. And um, I'll give you an example of that process popping up as you might want to see how it works. I'll plug in my Sony HD camera and we'll check what it does. So here goes. I'm just plugging it in through my USB right now. And if I check out, 
In my case, the pop-up is automatic. As you see here, I have the Sony Anticam. Everything is automatic. But if it's not automatic, if you look in the File Explorer, you see that my HDR CX190 is the camera. And if I click on it, I can actually access its folders. And so you have dates and you have different ways of the folders being uh, constructed. So that's very important because you got to understand how the structure works also on um, a camera or a um, you know USB key of some sort. That's very important. So um, you now see that if I check this PC with the list on the left, you see that my HDR CX190 is available. And that would be pretty much what happens with your own device that you'd plug in. And when you unplug it, here it goes, it disappears. And if I go into my file explorer, it's not there anymore. So um, having this knowledge really helps in getting the files from a device and putting them on the computer if the automated process doesn't work. So uh, hope that helps and hope that little um, lesson in the file explorer and how to get access to the different folders of your computer helped uh, as it is a very basic way that needs to be used uh, quite often and if you don't have that knowledge well it can really really handicap your your computer usage um, and a lot of the questions on the, the channel actually come from the fact that people don't understand this structure if you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature, a problem, something you'd like us to make a video. Let us know. We'll try to put that video online. And you'll be helping others at the same time. So thank you for watching and hope to see you again on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.